C++ is a language with no gotchas, said no one ever. Do you know what happens when you divide an integer by zero in C++? That's right, you don't know, because it is undefined behavior. As per C++, the compiler is legally allowed to do anything like formatting your hard drive, blowing up your monitor, or installing a virus in your computer. And there is an abundance of scenarios which are undefined behavior, like dereferencing a null pointer, sign integer overflow, out of bounds access in an array, accessing uninitialized memory, and the list continues. So if you come from safe languages like Java and Python, then you must be thinking, why does C++ even have these? Why make language intentionally unsafe? Well, to you soy devs, undefined behavior is actually very useful. You see, all these situations are obviously not intended. You never want to dereference a null pointer or access out of bound elements of an array, right? So instead of adding fallback checks, compiler assumes that there is a contract between the dumb programmer that is you and the compiler that this situation shall never arise. And since it will never arise, compiler won't have to check for it. And so it would be able to save performance. But in turn, we don't know what will happen. Hence, undefined behavior. Let's look at dereferencing a null pointer to understand this. Let's say this is the code that does dereferencing for a pointer. Now, if null pointer was allowed, what we'll end up having is something like this with an if branch or an assert like this, which is an extra branch for every dereferencing. That can be heavy, or is it? But regardless, assuming that we never want to dereference a null pointer in final application, we can just not have this branch and thus have faster code. Now, before we look at the performance penalty of having a branch like this, let's see how we can catch these undefined behaviors during testing. There are many compilation flags that you can use like f sanitize address for uh, catching out of bound access for you. And there's also flags like w all, w error, pedantic error, which can help you catch some other undefined behaviors. You can Google what you can do for every specific undefined behavior. Now, let's see the performance penalty of having these edge cases since it's an interesting topic. If you saw my Stack Overflow video, check it out if you haven't already, which was about branch prediction, you would know that CPU predicts branches and rare branches are easier to predict. And so what ends up happening is that because this branch is so rare, because we most probably won't be dereferencing a null pointer, CPU correctly predicts the outcome of this branch most of the times, due to which the extra overhead is very less. If you see the graph I showed you in that video, you can see with very less probability, the extra CPU cycles consumed is very low. So the performance overhead is not that much, but it still adds up over many operations. Another reason to have undefined behavior is when an operation is dependent on the CPU. For example, bit shifting a four byte integer more than 31 times to the left. It can have different implementations on different processors. So standardizing one in C++ would be problematic. We will have to add extra checks. Instead, we leave it be, let it do whatever, hence undefined behavior, and we get the performance boost. I hope this silly looking quirk of C++ makes more sense to you now. And if it does, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Check out these videos if they interest you.